This video is going over priority standard 5.1, which is introduction to ratios. So your learning target today is I can state what a ratio means and create examples myself. So this is the start to the unit. Make sure you've done the warm up that should have been done in class. If you weren't there, then just do the best you can. Okay, so activity number one. Elena mixed two cups of white paint and six tablespoons of blue paint. Here's a diagram that represents this situation. So we have um, the white paint in cups and the blue paint in tablespoons. And this is diagram is when we draw pictures to show the different amounts as a ratio. So question one says circle all those that correctly describe the ratio situation. So we're going to go through each and see which ones are true. So first of all, it says... A, the ratio of cups of white paint to tablespoons of blue paint is 2 to 6. So the first number represents the first category that was said. So 2 would represent white and 6 would represent blue. So I look here and I see, oh, there is 2 white to 6 blue. So this one works. The ratio is 2 to 6 if we say white first. So A works. Question B says for every cup of white paint, so when it says for every, that means for every one cup of white paint, there are two tablespoons of blue paint. So if when I have one cup of white paint, do I only have two tablespoons of blue paint? No, I have three tablespoons, so that one does not work. For C, there is one cup of white paint for every three tablespoons of blue paint. So yes, this is true because we see it right there. So C works. There are three tablespoons of blue paint, one, two, three, for every cup, so for every one cup of white paint. Yes, so that was just the reverse order, saying the blue paint first and then the white paint. E says for every, tablespoons of, every tablespoon of blue paint, so for one tablespoon of blue paint, there are three cups of white paint. And I know that's not true because there should be more blue paint than white paint, or in this ratio. So not that one. F, for every six tablespoons of blue paint, there are two cups of white paint. So I see six tablespoons of blue and then two cups of white. So F works. And then G, the ratio of tablespoons of blue paint to cups of white paint is six to two. So if it says blue first, that means this six is representing blue. And then the second number is representing white since white is stated second. So there is six blue to two white. So yes, that works absolutely. Number two. Um, so this one is a different one, not related to this first diagram. Jada mixed eight cups of flour to two pints of water to make paste for an art project. So it says draw a diagram. So you can pause here and create your own diagram. And then you can watch to see if your diagram works with mine. So I'm gonna draw squares for the cups of flour. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm gonna just label it F for flour. And I know a pint is more than a cup, so I'm gonna make my shapes for the pints a little bigger, but I only have two pints of water. Oh, I guess I could, instead of pints, you can say water. So pints of water. So there's my diagram. B says write at least two sentences describing the ratio of flour and water. So you could say the ratio of flour to um, water is, and I know if I'm saying flour first, I'm gonna put that number first, eight to the water is two. I could also say the ratio is four to one for flour to water. Um, you could also come up with another equivalent ratio if you would like. Now you need to write your own sentence. So follow the first prompt. So the ratio of, I'm gonna do water first. Water to flour is, and since I stated the water first, I'm gonna put that number first. So two to eight, or you could do one to four. So there's a lot of different options, but that is one option you could do. 
moving on to activity two. So activity two says, um, part to part. So the table shows how many hours Sarah spent at several activities one Saturday. So at soccer practice, it looks like she spent two hours. Birthday party, she spent three hours and so on. So the question says, what is the ratio of hours spent at soccer practice to hours spent at the birthday party? So if it says soccer first, we need to state that number first. Um, so soccer looks like it's two, so I'm gonna put two first. And then the birthday party is second, so three would be second. So two to three, that is a ratio. You could also come up with an equivalent ratio if you would like. For example, you could say, oh, I know that ratio is equivalent to four to six and so on. Okay, but you need to have the two first before the three. It cannot be three to two. Next, it says, come up with your own ratio based on the table. So come up with one, you can do it on your own or you could do mine, but try to do one on your own and then check to see if you did it right. So I'm gonna say the ratio um, of science project so the hours spent on a science project to hours at soccer practice is, so I know the science project is one, so I'm gonna put one first, and then the second I said was soccer practice is two, so one to two. So that would be another ratio, but there are a lot of different ones, so you can come up with your own. Question two, part to whole. What is the ratio of penguins to total birds? So this one's different because it's not just comparing two different things because the penguins are included in the total birds. So I'm going to do the penguins first. So I know there's one, two, three, four, five penguins. Um, so five to total birds. So I'm going to count all the birds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it'd be five to nine. So five would be the penguins and nine is the total birds, which also include the penguins. The second part says, what is an equivalent ratio? So equivalent ratio means uh, like an equivalent fraction. So for example, one to two is equivalent to two to four. So it's like you multiply both parts by the same number. So one times two is two and two times two is four. So what is an equivalent ratio to the ratio you put? So if I have five to nine as my ratio, I'm gonna multiply each part by two to come up with an equivalent one. You could multiply by any number to get an equivalent one. So I'm gonna just pick two. Five times two is 10 and nine times two is 18. So I'll say five to nine is equivalent to 10 to 18. But there's other ones. You could have multiplied it by threes for example, five times three is 15, nine times three is 27, 15 to 27 is another equivalent ratio, and there's infinity more. But just keep in mind, whatever you multiply one part of the ratio by, you have to multiply the other part of the ratio by for it to be equivalent. Okay, now you need to do the cool down on your own. Um, make sure you read all the instructions. For example, the first one says write two sentences. So you need to have two sentences here and read all the instructions to make sure it's done correctly and then let Mrs. Young know so I can check